Thank you, Mary. And it's uh, great to be back in the same environment that uh, we initially launched when, when we were doing our uh, funding with the uh, province of Ontario. So uh, welcome, everybody. And uh, good morning, uh, Minister Baines, distinguished guests, and the executive and staff of the Bioindustrial Innovation Centre. I do say with great pride that BioAmersarnia is a big portfolio company. Uh, the Bioindustrial Innovation Centre was BioAmersarnia's first investor. Um, and this investment led unbelievable credibility and support for our plant uh, on that. And while the amount was only $500,000, and I, sh I should say only, it, is, it was a significant amount of money, but it led to a $150 million investment in our plant built in Sarnia. And this was done with uh, collaboration of FedDef, the province of Ontario, Ag Canada, uh, we moved with EDC as well on that side, BDC, um, the, 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 the mayor's office, the city. So it really took a lot of different partners to get that type of an investment into this, uh, into this community um, to, have, to build the world's largest succinic acid plant. And, and I don't even say biosuccinic yet, uh, because this plant is actually the largest succinic acid plant, whether it's petroleum or bio-based. And that really tells you on the size of commercialization of how you need to compete with the petrol, uh, petrochemical facilities out there. So, uh, you know, uh, we, we thought that the, uh, uh, the BIC was unbelievably instrumental and gave, you know, the people involved with it and the credibility was, was tremendous for BioAmber. Um, as part of the portfolio, we are in the company of other businesses that will transform the agricultural industry the chemical industry, the manufacturing, the forest, all with a lower carbon footprint. And I think all of those can work together and, and I think this uh, innovation in BIC and all the different partners can actually see that as being a reality going forward on that side. So BIC is dedicated to fostering technologies and firms that will shape the bioeconomy, develop new markets for agricultural and forest and create jobs. And these are all, you know, very important aspects for, for everybody that, that, uh, that, that's out there that wants to have a, a nice place to live, as, as Minister Baines was talking about for his family as well. Executives and staff of BIC have the knowledge, the skill, the credibility, the experience to achieve success, and they do have an excellent record historically, and that's why this new funding is, is, is great to see for, for BIC. Um, they are, I think part of the reason why is they are tireless advocates for their companies, and how that helps in, uh, in, in development of the region and in the country. So it, 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 they really do go broad and they do have great connections throughout all of Canada and globally as well. Canada and Sarnia uh, in particular, I think it's being known as, as an innovation area for the bioeconomy, whether it's chemicals or materials uh, on a global basis. And I'm sure they have a lot of stories of a lot of different companies that have come in and really uh, uh, looked at, at this area and looked at Southern Ontario and looked at Canada as a leader in this space. Um, I would also say that their efforts reflect excellent due diligence, which is extremely important on any time you're putting funding out there on that side. And that really goes back to the concern for taxpayers. And, and that's, you know, when you have experts in fields that generally understand the chemical industry, the bioindustrial industry, the logistics, and that you can really leverage that from, from a taxpayer's point of view and, and, and uh, uh, you know, for, for, I think is important for, for all levels and to have successes out there. I would also like to single out the work of the past executive uh, director, Mary McLaughlin, who really is the face of Canadian bioeconomy. So, uh, Mary, that was unbelievably great. Thank you very much. And, and I would say I'd like to acknowledge the new executive director, Sandy Marshall, who was also extremely uh, instrumental and, and is going to be a great leader going forward. We, i.e. BioAmber and BioAmber Sony, are in the debt of, of these two gentlemen here, so thank you. Minister Baines, the government could not make a better investment in the future of innovation, sustainability, than your announcement here today for that. Uh, I would say BioAmber Sarnia and BioAmber will continue to support the excellent work of BIC going forward. And I just want to say congratulations to everybody on, on that side. Thank you.